Hey guys, welcome back to the PropSmith. Um, if you are a first time watcher, um, this one's going to be a little weird. Um, if you were returned, either subscriber or you just happen to keep watching my videos, uh, thank you for coming, both if this is your first time or not. I almost just knocked my phone off. Um, today, um, I'm not making anything today. Today I am going to do a about me video. Um, I was going to do a draw my life, but uh, unfortunately I can't draw. Um, I can blueprint things, but drawing is uh, not something I ever picked up. So I guess we should start at uh, the beginning. Um, I was born in Fayetteville, Arkansas in 1995. And yes, that makes me 22. Um, my mom is Julia. My father is Steve. I am Justin. Um, I have a sister that is two and a half years younger than I am, named Kaya. Um, we lived in Fayetteville for a little while. While uh, I think my dad was in college or something like that. It was I was <laughs> literally like one years old. I, I don't remember. I do remember at uh, the age of three, right after my sister was born, two, three, um, we moved to Hot Springs, Arkansas. Um, it's where my grandmother lived, it's where my dad grew up, kind of thing. Um, throughout uh, early grade school, like elementary school, um, my dad has always been a cook, or a, a chef, or you know, it depends on where where he's gone. Um, he's always been like as long as I can remember, he's been doing, you know, food industry. My mom in early um, elementary school, when I was in early elementary school, she was a long term substitute teacher. So for up until the sixth grade, I bounced around schools like every year, if not every semester. Um, made it really hard to actually, uh, keep friends and or make friends. Um, in that time I learned that I love to read. Um, I literally would, would pick up anything that had a dragon on it or had dragon in the title or anything about magic, about swords. Um, my dad, when I was young, read The Hobbit to me and the Cimmerillion, and, uh, I think really concreted the foundation of me being a nerd. Um, The Hobbit is actually my favorite book. Um, it's the first novel that I actually ever read. Um, it just, I don't know, I love it. But, um, come around the third grade, I want to say, I started playing football. Uh, because I didn't want to play flag football, I played tackle. I played for a couple teams through the Y, the YMCA. Um, and then I got into a team through a school called Fountain Lake. I played for them for a season, and then we ended up moving school districts to, uh, to Fountain Lake. And I went to Fountain Lake from beginning of my sixth grade year to the middle of my junior year. Now, in that time, I met uh, a bunch of people that I still... I'm in contact with a couple of them. But, uh... They helped me figure out who I was. They were my friends. I actually got to keep friends for more than a year. Um, I s kept playing football up until... I want to say the beginning of my 10th grade year. Um, in the sixth grade, I started playing in the band, and this was a concert band, and, uh, I started with the clarinet, and then I want to say it was the middle of my seventh grade year, the band director who happened to go to high school or college with my dad sent me home, uh, with a trombone, uh, during Christmas break and was like, here, take this home, when you come back, you're gonna be a trombone player. So I did that. Um, I absolutely love music. 
for a while it was my life. Before we moved to Missouri, I was planning on going to college for music. And then going and taking my old band director's job. Um, once I stopped playing football, I became the drum major for the marching band. Um, I started taking music theory and getting really heavy in the band, and I learned how to play, you know, most woodwinds. Like, I can't really play a piccolo because my hands are too big. Um, things like that. I can play all the brass instruments. I can read any type of music you put in front of me. Um, basically, I really, I, I started being a really big nerd. Um... I started doing jazz band and all state band and things like that. Uh, we went to marching competitions. It was literally, it was my life was in that band room. Like, uh, that's when I got into playing, you know, video games and watching anime because, like, we have a home game and we get out of school at 3 o'clock. I'd bring my Xbox and a projector and we'd play Halo until the home game and then we'd stay overnight in the band room and go to competition at 4 o'clock the next morning. Um, and for a while, that was my family. Uh, I started going to church around the 7th grade, and, you know, went to church with uh, some people in, in the band and uh, that I played football with, and that was, that was great. Um, my dad got a better job in Missouri the middle of my junior year, so we moved from Hot Springs, Arkansas, to Seneca, Missouri, which is six hours, and uh, I wasn't happy with it. I was actually uh, did a bunch of the whole teen, you can't do this to me thing. Uh, I went from being drum major to uh, purposely flunking my chair tests to sit last chair and then playing as loud and better than the first chair trombone players. So, uh, in between my junior and senior year, I got bumped up to first chair, uh, told to quit my shit and take it seriously. Uh, stick, stuck with band for another semester and then dropped it and did a uh, art class and woodworking and things like that, which I absolutely love woodshop. Um, when I moved, I, uh, I didn't really stay in contact with a bunch of my friends. Um, apparently my neighbors are home, sorry. Um, yeah, I, I pretty much stuck to myself. I, uh, I would eat lunch in the library and, you know, surf the web for, you know, short stories that people have written. I, you know, read, <laughs> I'd make a list of books that I wanted to read for the library and give it to the librarian. She'd order them for me. Um, just a bunch of things like that. It's, uh, I stayed pretty much on my own. Uh, I graduated at the age of 17. Uh, my first week of college, I actually turned 18. I had my first car, a Mercury Sable. It was a piece of crap. Um, I did the whole college thing for about half a semester, and then got it in my head that, uh, wasn't for me. So I didn't even drop out, I just stopped going. And for about three months, I did the whole party thing, you know, smoking a lot of weed, drinking really heavily. Um, I didn't even go home, like I lived out of my car for three months. And uh, I ended up getting in some, some trouble with the law. And uh, once that all was over, uh, I moved back home. I got a job at McDonald's. Uh, throughout this whole time, like, I had been on and off with different, you know, food places. Like, I did a while at KFC. I did a while at McDonald's. Did some Sonic. <sighs> Several McDonald's, in fact. Um, I moved to Stillwater, Oklahoma for about six months. And did, um... Tree removal. Sorry, I forgot. Uh, I did tree removal and manual labor there while living with my grandparents. Started going to their church. Um, uh, some things happened, drama, stuff like that. I ended up moving back to Missouri with my family. Um, 
not very long afterward, uh, I got another job working overnights at McDonald's, and then, uh, then my grandmother got sick on my dad's side, and, you know, the couple years prior, she had had a few strokes, um, she eventually had one that she wasn't able to live on her own anymore, and we, you know, we promised her we wouldn't put her in a home. So when it got to that time, um, we moved from Seneca, Missouri to Joplin. That way we had, you know, extra bedroom, things like that for her. And I stayed home and took care of her. Like, my whole family took care of her, but I was with her every day. Along with the hospice nurses until, uh, you know, we, we'd take her to dialysis and things like that until she passed. And, uh... Once she passed, my dad, who has been working at the Red Onion for years at this point, uh, offered me a job, and I became the breakfast cook at the Red Onion, and I've been doing that a year and two months now. Um, I don't say I love it, but I don't hate it. Um, I actually started doing this whole YouTube thing uh, right after my grandmother moved in, um, I would <laughs> take care of her during the day, and then whenever somebody else got home, I'd go and work on, uh, craft projects, I'd do, you know, stay up for stupid hours during the night, and, uh, work on different projects and things just to, to unwind, and that's what this became, was my, uh, my stress reliever. Because uh, I couldn't play video games, because I had to be with her, and, you know, I like shooter games, and that doesn't work with somebody who has dementia and Alzheimer's and stuff like that. It, it, it freaks them out. So, uh, I, mean, I stopped playing video games, and I still, I still really don't play video games. I'd rather be working with my hands. But uh, I've always been very artsy. Um, I have a thing with written word, not so much spoken. Um, I can ad-lib poetry, writing it down. Um, all in all, I'm just a huge freaking nerd. Um, I have a, you know, got it, worked for a year, and put a down payment on a car. I have a car I'm working on getting out of my parents' house. Um, To be completely honest, I'm a really boring person. I, uh, I go to work, I come home, I, uh, every day I work on, uh, sword strikes for SEA, I do my Pell work, uh, sometimes I do it before my shift, so I'll be up at 4 o'clock in the morning, hitting, you know, my Pell with a sword, or I'll do it after I get home. Um, I got into, to leather working because of that. Excuse me. Um, I can make all kinds of different kinds of armor. My end goal, my life's dream, I guess you would say, is I want to become a master smith. Um, the only problem with that is it takes quite a bit of money to get started. Um, and uh, I don't know. I just, I don't have it yet. And I also have, like, I got carpal tunnel and stuff with my with my hands from playing football. Um, you know, the, the, the end goal is to become an actual blacksmith. And to be able to sell my, my wares. But I want to have, like, my smithery, like, my, my forge over here. I want to have my house and then, like, a play, like, my... My house would be like on a second level. I want to have a place of business, like a storefront, on the first level that would sell all kinds of, uh, like the knives and swords I make, but also like costuming and. Sorry, my phone did something. All kinds of costuming and, uh, you know, foam and rattan and wood and basically make it a giant hobby store for cosplayers and nerds and stuff like that that, like, Michaels and Hobby Lobby don't actually do. Like, they're just a craft store, or a hobby store. I want to do something for 
the people like us. Like, uh, if Wolf from Armored Terrain or Max were to walk into my shop and be like, hey, I want to do some stained glass work, I'd be like, hey, look, back left corner. Or, I need to make a spalder out of leather, I'd be like, hey, aisle four. You know, stuff like that. Like, oh, I need a random piece of, you know, 22 gauge wire. What do you have? Or, you know, this is the costume I'm trying to make. What would you suggest? It'd be like, well, I have the fabric for this. Or if you want to actually make the armor, I have metal. Or if you'd like to do it out of EVA foam, I have that too. But that's just, I don't know, pipe dream, something like that. But, since this, menu, uh, this video is getting pretty long, and this is uh, actually my like fifth take of this, which is why my phone is dying, um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. If you guys have any suggestions for my next video, I noticed that uh, I got a new subscriber today, or yesterday, and uh, he, I think, I don't remember the name, um, suggested a scythe or a greatsword. Well, those of you who have watched know that I have a great sword that I've made. Uh, several, in fact. So I think I'm going to add a scythe to my project. Not sure if it's going to be like a little hand scythe or like a Grim Reaper scythe, but that's that's going to be in the works. Um, I am working on Match Max's short sword. Um, the Van Braces project is going to be put on hold. I took my uh, my actual set of van braces that I made and just trimmed the corners and adjusted some straps and added some padding on the inside just for my left arm because doing that whole this leaves it exposed so I've made sure to pad all of this and I'm not real worried about my right arm. I've never been hidden my right arm. So um, I am thinking about doing a rattan axe. And I'll, uh, I'll see, I have to do some research on that, but I'll, I'll see how that goes. But if you guys have any other comments, make sure to drop them below. If you liked this video, I don't see how, but if you do, please hit that like button. If you aren't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell. Um, when I do upload a video, it will notify you. And then you can listen to me talk for 20 minutes. Anyway, guys thank you so much for all of your support all of your comments i appreciate every one of you guys that watch these videos subscribed or not and always remember not all dragons are friendly stay safe